I, I went to meditation last night. And I was telling Anthony, then you turn your phone on after a couple hours, and man, the whole world changes. Like, you oh. turn off your phone for two lousy hours and, and don't even don't have really much human contact with anyone, and you turn that phone back on two hours later, there's always yeah. some some treat waiting for what you. What happened? That's what I was saying. Yeah. My Twitter exploded for real. Uh, the, the tweets were unbelievable. Everyone's like, oh, my God, did you see the black guy, the eyewitness out of Cleveland? Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck is going on in Cleveland? So I started reading Twitter, you know, longer. You don't know what's going on? No. <laughs> Jimmy doesn't know girls? what's going on in Cleveland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I just read that story. It's um, absolutely amazing. These three This broads. all went down at 8 o'clock last night. <clears throat> They've been in a house basically chained up for 10 years in Cleveland. This uh, this happens every so often. You get these stories of these women uh, that were abducted, mm. and then years later, uh, they, they find them somehow um, alive. One has a kid, so oh. apparently she had a child during the, the two kids. Well, I know, I know. So, she had a, a six-year-old and, uh, and, uh, and an infant. Well, they've been missing for <sighs> she, ten years, and she then had two kids with the asshole that fucking right captured. Well, her. here's a, guys, right? when the stories come out, uh, you'll find out like th that they they had the opportunity at some point in these ten years to get away, mm. and somehow they just uh, you know didn't. I don't know. That phone call sounded like she was excited to be out. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're always excited once they do finally get their freedom. But but in the interim, there's always these stories of like, well, they sent me to the store once, so I went and I got some milk and came back. It's like, why didn't you fucking run? <sighs> they said they would do things. Like, it's always some weird well, fucking well, thing. Well, psychological. On. Yeah, of course. And the girls were young when they were abducted, yeah. right? How old 14, were they? 14, 16, and 21. So, so now they're 24, 26, 31. A decade of your life. In a, t in a small house with, with your neighbors very close. Three men yeah. have been arrested. Three. Oh, now it's up to three men. Yeah, it's a that three Hispanic men have know. been arrested. So I, I don't know what kind of, if it was a Spanish neighborhood or if they were. It looks like Spanish, it's a right? Spanish neighborhood. España. Didn't he have a Puerto Rican flag right on his, uh, right on really? his front porch there? Oh, yeah. Man. Fucking. Ten years, man. A decade of your life. And the, the saddest part, the uh, the one, one of the women that were was abducted, her mom died. Oh. Her mom two, died in 2006. With, and they all say, say, with a broken heart. It was like, the stress of her daughter being missing. So. Two years after her daughter was missing, the mom died, and they all said, from a broken heart. So she's got to deal with that. Mm. Yeah, because she's probably you know running out of the house, can't wait to see mommy. Oh, I can't oh, wait to see. Oh, mommy died eight years ago. Whoops. Fuck. These guys should be executed. Ah, they, yeah. Bah. Executed. Yeah, they'll have a nice life in prison. It'll be easy. Oh, they'll yeah. get to watch Homeland and shit. They'll have yeah. lawyers that'll say, no, this, all these girls, they stayed voluntarily. It was great. Look, they could have left. But they didn't. Oh, stop. They're, but, and they had a kid with the guy. Oh, gee. They, yeah. You don't know who's... It's like this, It's like that guy who kidnapped his daughter or whatever, and the wife had no idea, and she was 20 years yeah. downstairs. I guess you... Joseph Fritzel? Or whatever Fritzel, you yeah. Mm. You just don't know when the guy's home. Uh, th there was a case of a guy who was kidnapping. He was, he was a gay serial killer, and he was hitting men over the head, and he would tie them up and torture them. And there was one guy who he fucking like gave the remote to watch television to, and uh, he would keep you for a week, two weeks, just torture, rape you, and then oh, kill. He was a fucking geez. bad dude. And then uh, the guy got out of the, the the ties and was going to escape, but he just didn't know if the guy was home. Like he had no idea. The guy left. Was he here? And he wound up going out. Like he just he escaped through the roof, and the guy was out at the time. But it's like, what was he watching on the television? <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently the Nielsen ratings had just come in. It's funny you ask, yeah, Larry. Yeah. But like, that's the problem is you don't know if they're home. So the one shot you take, you're afraid that they'll be home and kill you because he thought he was going to be. But he knew he'd probably be killed if he didn't. Oh, yeah. So he wound up getting away. Wow! And they got this guy. Where was he out of? Three, uh, um, I forget where I've he. Never was. heard of this uh, creep. He got, you know how I got to him? Remember we were looking at pictures of victims, their last pictures taken? Oh, yeah. One of the guys that was tied up, I thought was so chilling that I investigated the guy who did it. And the guy who did it had killed a bunch of people and wound up going to prison and dying in prison. Oh. How many did he kill in the end? No, man. Let's see. Jimmy knows six. his serial killer shit. I, I don't remember this guy's name, though. Is that him? That's the guy. Oh, God. I don't believe so. No. Uh, then we won't say Believe it or name. not, there's more than one gay serial killer. Oh, Randy oh. Kraft was a fucking, was a doozy. What did he California? do? California. Well, I think they said he killed like 60 people. 
He would tie guys up oh. and he would torture their nipples with the cigarette lighters from a car. He would torture their cocks with like fucking brandy. He would put sticks in their Ooh. cock holes. Yeah, he was Ooh. a naughty boy. He liked he liked men though. He didn't like kids. He was a. Uh, What's that all about? I do. I Why do you want to stick something him. in a guy's pee hole? Yeah. He would pick guys up hitchhiking, like Marines and shit, like real men, and uh, like you know he he went and he would drug the drink and give him a drink. Oh man! And that's how he got busted. He got pulled over and he had a fucking guy in his car, his passenger seat, and the cop walked over. And, and and Randy get out of the car to meet the cop halfway. Ah, oh, that's yeah. always a sign. But he right? had a dead guy in the car. He had to do something. <laughs> right, 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 oh, man. And, and the guy's pants were like askew, or like there was something about the or, or Randy's pants. The cop just, of course, smelled the rat and then nailed him. That's how Bundy got busted. He had a fucking he got pulled over. These guys yeah. always get pulled over. Well, why don't you go ten and two when you have a dead body yeah. in the car? Be a very responsible well, tail light or something. Well, well what do they get Ted Bundy on? Are doing ten and two and don't get caught. <laughs> I know. Yeah. But what, how did they pull uh, Ted Bundy over? For he, what? He had escaped. I mean, he just he was in Florida. No, he had his car. I don't. I, I honestly, I might have just been a small moving violation. But he had. I think the cop noticed he had no passenger seat. Right. And there were some kind of tools. Um, you but know, you don't know what the initial pullover was. No, I mean it might have been a red light or something. Yeah. He failed was, to pull over for a routine traffic stop. Uh, yeah, oh, routine, just routine. Yeah, it might have just uh, been a signal. Officer, just bad luck. The officer noting that the Volkswagen's front passenger seat was missing, searched his car, found a ski mask, second so if, mask. So if they didn't have the routine uh, checkpoint, he would have been on his way. Was well, it a gotten, routine traffic stop? Could have been anything. It might have just been he ran a yellow. They've gotten so many fucking people through oh, I shit see. like that. Yeah. You look at um, Son of Sam. They got him on a fucking parking ticket. Yeah. They got um, McVeigh was pulled over. Um, I guess... Before, yeah, before the uh, bombing. Always before it. Okay. And, and they figured something out. Wasn't it before no. or was it after? No, it was, oh, after, it was after because he was in jail. Right. Yep, he got arrested yep. on a warrant. Right, right. It was after the bombing. Yeah, those little fucking weird turn of events that happened afterwards. A little uh, luck. Afterwards. Yeah. A little luck. That's the luck factor. So we go back to Cleveland. The three Cleveland women found alive after 10 years. That's amazing. In this uh, <laughs> creep's house. It, uh, uh, yeah, they showed the street. The houses were on top of each yeah. other. Yeah. So uh, obviously more is going to come out today and tomorrow. The first three days of a story like this are where you get all your, all your info, all the good stuff. Yeah, and they'll pull out all the fucking uh, the uh, news celebrities that this has happened to. That's smart. What's her name? Amanda. Uh, uh, Elizabeth, smart. Elizabeth, Smart. Elizabeth Smart. Smart. Who was she missing for a year or less than that? She was missing for longer than that, I think. Was she? What about the yeah. other one that was a couple years ago? Where wasn't that a long, long time? And she had uh, there was one, yeah, there was one who was like twenty years or something. It was twenty years, right? Yep. And she ended up having a kid or two with that guy. She yeah. was living in a in a in a, a little structure behind the guy's outside house. shed, yeah, outside in the yard kind of thing. I guess you can never give up for that reason, like. And I, I'm guessing what happens is after a while, you're probably chained up miserably for a while. And then you get these little comforts, like maybe they take the gag off, or maybe, and then you're afraid if you scream, uh, back it's going to be right fucking, back to yeah. a fucking gas rag in your mouth or whatever. So. But this guy was having barbecues with his neighbors. Was he? It was. Yes. I thought it was a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest lady ever. What, yeah, we got some audio He's having barbecues? Yeah, man, with the black guy that, that saved the, the broads. Wait, is that how they got caught after a barbecue? No, oh. I, I, I'm still confused. Like, she was trying to get out of the house. Yeah, I guess. And the, this black yeah. guy uh, well, uh, he, saw and he heard he the commotion. Yeah, he explains it. Yeah, because the houses are so close, and he, and he sees his, uh, what, which one was trying to get out. Uh, Amanda Barry. Do we Barry, have the, Amanda uh, Barry? Right? Do we have Amanda's? Uh, yes. 911 oh yeah, call we got her Amanda. chilling nine one one call. The oh. chilling nine one one call. She's fucking trying to get out of this house desperately, and then the black guy sees the commotion and goes and helps her. She was kicking at the door, and uh, the door was chained, I guess, and she got an arm out, and she was kind of like fussing and kicking, and her her arm was hanging out the door, and that's when the black guy saw that and like kicked the door down and. Uh, well, he was enjoying. The three guys are apparently brothers. He was enjoying his McDonald's, wasn't he? Yeah, well, of course. He was enjoying his McDonald's. Heard the commotion, came outside. I wonder if that was the first time <clears throat> she got upstairs, or, or how, well, I'm sure they'll all come yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Believe me, there's a book and a movie in this. Oh, they're, yes. They're they're bringing in the dogs today, so Let's they, see if there's any more. They have some suspicions because uh, there's some other, uh, you know, you might, they might girls or women guess. missing in the area. All these Christmases and fucking Thanksgivings, these fucking cocksuckers, man. Imagine if they were just having the best time inside, <laughs> treating them all nicely. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were all mad that the cops came. Like, what yeah. are you guys doing? You're ruining the party. <laughs> Man, be nice tits. 
They're going to be all fucked up psychologically, huh? Yeah. The one in the middle is Amanda Berry. Yeah. That's Amanda Berry. The one on the left is her sister. Yeah. And this is, this is recently, right? And that was last night. Last yeah, first. she's still yeah. young. She's 27, 17 when she was taken. 14 and 24. From a Burger King restaurant that you she worked at. You still have your whole life, but 21 or 31, it's like you just lost a decade. Yeah, you got your life. whole life with extreme psychological yeah, issues. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. That will haunt you at night. No matter how much therapy you get. It's fucking terrible. All your prime Anthony dating years are gone. Oh, please. Well, they were almost done before they got kidnapped anyway. <laughs> <laughs> they were at the tail end of it? Yeah, the 21-year-old was over the hill. She was old hat. <laughs> old hat. They knew where not to look. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, she gets out after clawing her way through the front door, and then the black guy helps her. And uh, this is her 911 call. Ooh. This is the long version. The news is only playing, you know, a quick yeah. uh, snippet. Police. What's interesting, she's like, help me, I'm Amanda Berry. She knew that she was pretty yeah. fucking famous yeah. in that area. It's Amanda, Amanda Berry. Berry. <laughs> she probably saw all the stories on TV. Yeah, like, it, holy yeah. fuck, I'm famous in this area. She, she says in the clip, she's like, I've been on the news. Oh, she, so, yeah. wow. so she must have seen that. How horrific exactly. is that, seeing news stories oh, of, man. of yourself on on well, TV. The thing that bothers me about this clip is if you, it, as it goes on, the, the 911 operator, I don't think, understands who she is. Of course not. She, she's starting to get like really annoyed, like, all right, just stay there. The cops right. are coming. Like, oh, uh, yeah, but, but the 911 operators, they, they know everything. They told him to stand down. They told George Zimmerman to stand down. Shut up. 911 operator, but please. Those, I used to get mad at coffee for the men. I used to get mad at the oper the 911 operators, but as soon as the call comes in, they're you know they're on it, right? Yeah, it, it's just her job to kind of get the info as the cops right. are already doing their thing. I assume these are the same people that get the calls that say. My, there's not enough cheese on my Whopper. Right, right, right. So they have to weed through a lot of fucking wackos. <laughs> That's a rough job. As soon as they hear a panic uh, like that, I, I just yeah. assume they're already on their way, and it's just the operator talking through yeah. basic Pol info at that point. Police, fire, ambulance. Like, the first thing, what do you, like, yeah. enough shit. I hope that's how it works. Because well. <laughs> if, it if it's not that way, then this is You'll bad. you on the clip, she's like, all right, yeah, we'll get somebody as soon as we have a car available. Uh, yeah, no, uh, car, car open, available. she says. Yeah, wow, yeah, wow. Well, Meaning they're busy with other shit. Just they're kitty up a tree, you yeah. fucking bitch. <laughs> yeah. The car. Do you understand? I'm Amanda Berry. <laughs> Seymour Butts. Get it? Why would you stay across the street? With the neighbors. With yeah, the but yeah. fuck that. Look how close these houses are. I'm going to run. If all of a sudden, the, the, if the Hispanic comes out that front door looking oh, for man. his catch. Yeah. I'll who knows it. what he's capable of doing? I, fuck that. Another thing you could do in times like that, too, is if they say, say, call the fire department, too. Get them both there. Oh, yeah. If the fire department comes, those big, loud-ass trucks. Everybody. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing worse when you're doing something wrong than <laughs> fire. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's my Edgar repellent. <laughs> Edgar hates that. Okay, stay there with those neighbors. Talk to the police when they get there. Okay. Okay, talk to the police when they get there. Okay. Hello? Yeah, talk to the police Stop when they get there. Okay, I'm going to leave right now. We're going to stop them as soon as we get a car open. No, I need them now before we get them back. All right, we're sending them, okay? Okay, I mean, like, who's the guy? Who's the guy you're, uh, trying? Who's the guy who went out? Um, his name is Ariel Castro. All right, how old is he? Uh, he was like 52. All right, and, uh. Steven, I'm Amanda Berry. I've been on the news for the last 10 years. Okay, I got, I got that here. I already. <laughs> and uh, you said, what was his name? Again? Uh, Ariel Castro. And is he white, black, or Hispanic? I'm Hispanic. And what's he wearing? I don't know because he's not here right now. That's when, he left, when, when he left, what was he wearing? Two yards of face. What? Two 
Okay, the police are on the way. Talk to okay. them when they get there. Okay. I need. Okay. I told you they're on the way. Talk to them when they get there. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Wow. Fucking Wait, chilling. Wait. Hold on. Did that did that nine one one operator actually get off the phone with her? Yeah. What yeah. the fuck? What a dumb fuck. You stay on the fucking phone. Didn't know you got shit. you got somebody who's been missing for ten years, and this dumb motherfucker yeah, yeah. is going uh, talk well, to them when they get there. Yeah. Well, he sees other calls coming in. But the, yeah, that's but, true. But, but no, but no, still, no. this is one you say, fuck everything. I got to stay wow. on the line with and this And you don't know girl. at that point what the situation is. You don't know if she's still in danger or something. You stay on the fucking phone. You don't phone. know where the guy went to after he left that his house. He could have just been, you know, borrowing something from a neighbor. Who knows? Yeah, what, what a dummy. Yeah, he was a dumb Walked down the street. Walked his dog. I don't know. Is that Jeez. chilling or what? Yeah. That's she's just expecting wild. everything to just, you know, yeah, yeah. be there for her immediately, and she still has to explain herself. Yeah, well, eh, got to free up a car. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like about lunchtime. Um, so, what was he wearing for 10 years? Give me every fucking little costume change. <laughs> you know, Sylvia Brown. The old uh, lady psychic. Yeah. That's very oh, creepy yeah. when she talks. Yes. she. I think she was on Montel Williams, I want to say. And she told, I think it's Amanda Berry's mom, that that Amanda Berry was dead. She did her little reading on Montel Williams and said, I'm sorry to tell you. Oh, but, did she? Uh, but your daughter is dead. She had a 50-50 shot of getting it right. No kids. Yeah, exactly. The kid's alive, the kid's dead. There were a lot of people that believed in Sylvia Brown, but she's she's had some... Please. Some fucking bad ones. Has she? Oh, yeah. I know Can you find name. that clip? It might be online there. Montel Williams, Sylvia Brown. There was a great bullshit, um, Penn and Teller bullshit episode yes. on the psychic fucking, uh, psychics help, helping the cops and stuff and how it just doesn't fucking work. Right. Never has. Maybe put Barry in, too, to see uh, psychic gets busted. Yeah, no, we played that one in the past. Oof. That's the famous one. But I happen to believe... If someone has a oh, link to this, that would be great. You take all your negativity and you carry it under your hat, I happen to believe. <laughs> Good psychic. Carry it under your hat. Yeah, you take your negativity to the bank. <clears throat> this fucking neighbor, the black guy. Yeah, we're about to uh, play his shit. You mean uh, New Orleans looter? Yeah, the looter. Ah. He does look just like the Heineken looter from... He looks like the guy from New Orleans. Katrina. Oh, God. And, um... <laughs> Boy, the the media loves the Black Witness. <laughs> the Black Witness is the best fucking thing. Charles mm -hmm. Ramsey's name is. Yeah, it's the greatest invention ever. Oh, the local news just search out any black person in the area. Yeah, when these big stories go down. Well, the well, the white reporter that was talking to him that I saw last night, uh, mm. he was loving it. He's got the mic in his face. He's asking him questions because it's all gold. And then he said something to the effect of, "Well, you know." You know there's trouble when a white woman runs right. into the arms of a black man. <laughs> right. He goes, because that just don't happen. And you saw the white reporter at that point. He's like, blah, blah. well, thank you very much. He couldn't get away All from panicky. The, 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 the potential racial fucking problem he was running the into. The racial angle? Yeah, yeah. A scared whitey. Oh, don't talk like that. Oh, I gotta run away. Uh, what do you got there, Travis? I just keep, I'm, I'm reading updates about this story on Gawker, and the suspect's son... He's a son. journalist, and he wrote about this case in in 2004. Ooh. He must have had an amazing angle. Yeah, <laughs> he had no yeah. idea, huh? No idea. He had wow. no idea that his father was the guy. Come on. I, uh, well, this, Who knows? Maybe they were strange. You know? There's yeah, gonna I mean, be some shit that comes out. Yeah, this is gonna get if really you're not, interesting. If you're not living with the guy, like, how, yeah, how do right. you know what's going on? I think my father's been kidnapping people. <laughs> oh, it's really weird. I'm like, what have you been doing, Dad? He goes, oh, nothing. I'm just digging in the yard. I'll call you later. <laughs> <laughs> I think they find dead bodies today. I think they find a, a body or two in that backyard. Thanks. Yeah, I think so. Maybe a couple uh, that they caught that weren't cooperative. Real cast. Uh, here's the eyewitness that. That helped uh, Amanda Berry get out of the house, the black guy that everyone's talking about today. Hey, Charles, Charles, let me talk to you. I'm talking with Charles Ramsey. He's a neighbor. Uh, walk me through again what happened this afternoon. You, were, you, you heard screaming. I heard screaming. I'm eating my McDonald's. I uh, come outside. I see this girl going nuts trying to get out of her house. So I go on the porch. I go on the porch, and she says, help me get out. I've been, I'm, I've been in here a long time. So, you know, I figured it's a, a domestic violence dispute. So I open the door and 
we can't get in that way because how the door is, it's so much that the body can't fit through, only your hand. So we could kick the bottom. And she comes out with the little girl and she says, call 911. My name was Amanda Berry. Now, did you know who that was when you when she said that? When she told me it didn't register until I got the call in 911. And then I'm like, I'm calling the 911 for Amanda Berry. I thought this girl was dead. You know what I mean? And and she got on the phone and she said, Yes, this is me. And the detective uh Cook, right here. Detective Gregory Cook says, Charles, do you know who you rescued? <laughs> I said, Oh, I said, now, and, and when, did you, see, when did you see it? When did you see That's great. The best About. part is when there's like a cop <laughs> sound. Oh, yeah. His immediate, he went from. <laughs> He went from helpful witness on the news to I'm a black guy in Cleveland and I just heard a police <laughs> yes. noise. That that siren that you just heard in the background, he stopped and his eyes opened. He turned his head like he snapped oh, his neck. He was ready to run. Right. You goes, see that again? He was thinking, like Pavlov's dog. He was thinking, what the hell did I do? Yeah. You want, to, you want to just play from here? No, yeah. Know what that means? He's probably guilty. Oh, he's got warrants. He's, oh, he's like, got some warrants. <laughs> I bet you this turns out bad for the poor guy. Yeah, they're gonna. They're gonna hear the, and uh, on a side note, right. you might remember Mr. Ramsey who did the interview. He is now in prison. Because there's never a fucking Hollywood ending. No. Man. The, no. The, 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 there's always a twist. All the shit always ends up bad. He's our hero today, but they're gonna oh, get him on yeah. something. <laughs> The look he gave. <laughs> that means he's scared. He of stopped something in his, his past. tracks. He stopped. His eyes got real wide and he turned his head like, oh shit. I say it now. He, they're going to get him on something, something, unfortunately, which makes this a, a shitty ending again. <laughs> Cook, right here. Detective Gregory Cook says, Charles, do you know who you rescued? I said, <laughs> when did you see that? <laughs> Like, oh, that's the one. He's like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. That look he gives to the oh, left. Oh, my God. It's perfect. Oh, fuck. Cook. Right here. Detective Gregory Cook says, Charles, do you know who you rescued? I said. <laughs> I, can't, I can't get enough of that. It's fucking. His face <laughs> Look at these staring. Oh, oh man, that's a guy oh, with warrants. Yeah, he's oh, like, oh, you got to be shitting me. Because oh. I think he's only been in the neighborhood a year. Oh, is so he? he wow. Is, oh, my he's God. He's probably hiding from some dumb thing. I don't even think it's that bad of a charge, but oh my God. something he's going to have to deal with in the next oh, yeah. couple weeks. Mark our word. Yes, yes. That look is not the look of a guy. It's going to be. Remember, to Charles. Yeah. The girl, Charles the girl, Ramsey. The girl, the well, <laughs> I said, now, and, and when did you see? When did you see Gina? About 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 five. We're good. So about five minutes after the police got here, the see, police. The girl Amanda told the police. I ain't just the only one. It's some more girls up in that house. It's so they went up there, you know, 30, 40 deep. And when they came out, was just astonishing. Because I thought they were going to come up with nothing. I figured, I mean, whoever she was, and like I say, my neighbor, uh, you, you got you got the, some big testicles to pull this off, bro. Because we <laughs> see you. this dude every day. I mean, every day. How long have you lived here? I've been here a year. Okay. You should come up, bro? Right. I barbecue with, with this dude. We eat ribs and, and whatnot. Of this is salsa music. You see what I'm coming from? Yeah. And you had no indication that there was anything hey, going on? bro, not a clue that that girl w was in that house. Or anybody else was in there against their will. Because how he is, is I, he just comes out to his backyard, plays with the dogs, tinker with his cars and motorcycles, goes back in the house. So he's somebody that you look and you look away because he's not doing nothing but the, the average stuff. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. There's nothing exciting about him. Well, until the day. <laughs> There's reaction on the girls' faces. I can't imagine to see the sunlight to be around. Bro, I knew something was wrong when a little pretty white girl ran into a black man's arm. <laughs> something's wrong here. Dead <laughs> giveaway. Dead Charles, giveaway. Charles, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. 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 Thank you very much for your time. Away and fast enough now. Yeah. Dead giveaway. Oh. Dead giveaway. Like, why would you walk away from him at that point? He's the guy you want to Because he's talk smart. Because I would have gotten fired trying to be funny. I would have said, like, yeah, well, those are some of my favorite pornos. Huh? Oh. Nothing. What? Nothing, what? sir. Ha <laughs> ha! Good point. Good point. <laughs>
Yeah. She homeless or she got problems. That's the only reason why she run to a black man. Charles, thank, thank you for being there, man. Charles oh, Ramsey, reporter, neighbor, no. No, heard the screaming, I'm not, I'm not race, race. took action, I'm not. went He's and did what he needed to do. The rest yeah. is unfolding before us here on Seymour. I'm going to send wow. it back to you. Unbelievable Dude, story. With, Those guys, the guys who kidnapped, they're probably going to get in trouble. <laughs> oh, they're in touch. Unbelievable. Do you have Sylvia Brown? Can we find that clip? Yeah, it's got to be somewhere. I'm looking. We'll find it. But she said a few years back that uh, Damn. the girl was dead. Have Ernie pull it. I just like making up people. Oh. <laughs> Make up people. Someone texted me. I mean, I started sorry, Twitter me about the guy we were talking about, the serial killer. They said he's from Kansas or something, and he poured drain cleaner in one of his victim's eyes. If, oh. if that's the guy. Oh. Mm. Let me see. That photo? That's him. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Robert Andrew Berdella. Robert Andrew. He died of cancer in jail, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I hope it was helped Medicare covered him. Um. Yeah. I was hoping someone t found that clip, but I don't see it yet on the Twitter. The Twitter. Hope you radio. If you got the Montel Williams Sylvia Brown clip, where Sylvia Brown says this girl was dead when she did her psychic shit we, in front of that live audience. We barbecued. We have ribs. Oh, Isn't this awesome music? We got Buzz Aldrin coming in in a few minutes already. Buzz. Yes. So that's all we know on this story so far. So far. Are the three girls healthy? And their kids healthy? And uh, how many kids are there all together? I've heard two. Uh, I've seen reports of a six-year-old and then an infant. Six-year-old. So yeah. there's no record of the six-year-old. I, I, I read that this morning. No, so no. She has, I, I doubt she was going to They never to went to the Yeah, obviously. At all. No, I know. I'm, I'm just saying. Is that the six-year-old right there? I think so. So that girl... Oh, my God. I can't confirm that. And then you got a daughter with the fucking... It's amazing. I mean, that kid definitely looks like, you know, half Hispanic. Yes, definitely. I, and she's stuck with her forever. Stark, she loves the hell out of the kid. But, I mean, you have to look, you have to think of him. No whatever. kidding. That's fucked, fucked up. How do, you, how do you work that through your head? All three are in stable condition. The three missing girls. They're all stable. Yeah. And one report says, uh, investigative sources say chains found hanging from the ceiling. In Jesus. The oh, that's never good. So all three brothers probably just fucked all three girls. I mean, for years. That's what they were probably <laughs> subjected to. Yeah, I'm sure it wasn't pleasant. So um, what do we do with these guys? Like execute them. Yeah, of they, course. They, they of won't. Course. What they yeah. should do is just, is just, is just, just put bullets to them. There's, there's, there's no redeeming value in no, society for no. these people at all. Zero. No. Wow. I got some good questions for Buzz Aldrin, by the way. Oh, you do. When I was, they told me I should have been an astronaut in school because I just took up space. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking watch him crack up. That's a good joke. Get a laugh. He probably like, has never heard that either. Nah. Yeah. I'm gonna do an April Fool's joke. No, don't do an April Falls joke. On Buzz. How old is Buzz Aldrin now? 41. It's amazing. 41? <laughs> Man. I'm guessing he's... 80-something? Uh, in his 80s, yeah. And we had him on how many years ago now? Four or five. Is it that long ago? Yeah. And now uh, the woman he was with that day, they were getting a divorce, right? Oh, shit. I believe so. At that point, wouldn't you just stay in there? <laughs> oh, cheaper to keeper. Huh? Yeah. Uh. People are sending me the article where uh, Amanda, uh, Amanda Burry's mother asked psychic Sylvia Brown, is she out there? And Sylvia Brown said she was dead. Yeah, I've got the article. I know. Because uh, no, a lot of people are reposting it today. Right. But I, I none of these articles are, are linking to a clip, so I would assume that if there's one out there, mm. sure. they would have already. Yeah, you know? of course. We'll, we'll find it. Uh, more important, uh, yeah. Charles Ramsey, as Travis put it during the break, <laughs> is the gift that keeps on giving. He uh, he's he's the guy that saved uh, yeah. the broad up there in Cleveland. What's her name again? Amanda Burry, right? Amanda Burry was yelling and screaming. She had a hand like sticking out of the yeah. house. I guess she's the she's the daughter of Blue and Dingle. <laughs> <laughs> and Charles Ramsey hears the commotion and helps her get out of that fucking house of horrors. And, uh, and now they can't stop fucking interviewing him because no. they know he's gold. I, I, we have to just find every interview Charles Ramsey has done. We found another one with a black reporter that we're about to play. Is there a remix yet? Are there 20 remixes out there yet? This is, this is from Fox. Fox? Fox uh, 8. Think... Is it good? 
Yeah, I mean, I listened to the first. You you asked me to preview it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's two and a half minutes long. Mm-hmm. I listened to the first thirty seconds, oh. and I stopped and I said, "This is good." Oh, oh, oh okay. Uh, what uh, what channel was this on? This is on Fox in Cleveland. So Fox, Fox local Fox, Fox, Fox Eight. Local Fox. What was Fox hungry? <laughs> wow, we all oh, fell for that fuck. one. Here's Charles Ramsey. Another interview. Yeah, this is Charles Ramsey, correct? Yes, sir. You live next door to the home. Yes, sir. I talked to you earlier. Too. Can you tell no, our viewers again what friends. happened? I went to McDonald's, came home, <laughs> meet at McDonald's. I got the day off from work, so naturally you're doing nothing. And I hear this girl screaming, and she going nuts. So I look, I come outside. And I know there's nobody that's supposed to be screaming next door to my house because there's no girl that lives in that house. So that's a dead giveaway to something wrong. And when I came to the front door and looked at her, uh, she said, my name is Amanda Bear. Please he's like get me out of this house. <laughs> so I'm thinking, yeah, whatever. So I helped her get out the house. I ain't thinking that you really that girl that's missing. You, you've been gone for so long. You know, you think you're lying. And she called the police, and they came, and they took a fingerprint sample of her, a blood sample, and it came back. It was her. And then she said it was two more pe- uh, girls up in the house. Now, I don't know this. I just helped her move out. You're correct. There's Gina DeJesus, the Leon, and move out. then a woman named uh, Michelle Nunes. I helped her move, move out. out. <laughs> and if you look, it almost looks like he said there's two more bitches in the house. <laughs> two more bitches in there. It looks like he's trying not to say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can you watch that? Because you know girls. His, his fucking lingo when he's not in front of the camera uh, is a little different. Yeah, that's yeah. I'm uh, clapping. Did his hair. And the- then she said it was two more pe- uh, girls <laughs> in the house. Now, I don't know this. Good call, Billy. You can see his lips. You can see. Make a B. They made a B sound. Two yes. Two more bitches in the house. Two more bitches in the house. <laughs> bitches. And up sample in the motherfucker. Sample, and it came back. It was her. Oh, yeah. And then she said it was two more pe- uh, girls <laughs> in the house. Now, I don't know this. I just helped her move you're, out. You're correct. It was Gina DeJesus was the yeah. other one. And then a woman named Michelle Knight. Next door to house like you were on the... He doesn't give and, a uh, fuck. Uh, and Michelle uh, Knight is like... Uh, uh, whatever. Whatever. Uh, whatever. I don't know that nigga. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Charles Ramsey fucking yeah. oh, this is guy's... Buzz Ramsey. <laughs> Buzz Ramsey. Best I don't know. guy ever to get involved in this uh. situation. Just help her move out. You're correct. It was Gina DeJesus was the yeah. other one. And then a woman named Michelle Knight. Uh, had, so you've been living next door to that house? Had you known there were any people? No, because I'd have pulled this heroic stuff last <laughs> year. <laughs> oh, I'd have pulled this heroic shit. He was going to go, I'd have pulled this heroic shit. So, so far he wants to say t- two bitches, Bitch, bitches and shit. And shit. He rolls. absolutely was going to say shit. <laughs> I'd have pulled this heroic shit years ago. Oh, Motherfucker. God. Door to that house, had you known there were any people? No, because I'd have pulled this heroic stuff last <laughs> Thank year. <you>. Okay. <laughs> With my goons. <laughs> With my goons. <laughs> Thank you for restraining yourself. But <laughs> Thank you for restraining so, yourself. So, so you realized who it was, though. So once she said her name, you recognized the name. Yeah. Pause. Yeah. He's and lying. then I walked down the street. In the last I interview, my... he said he had no idea. Yeah, of course. Recognizing it. This guy's story will change. Oh, yeah. He'll yeah. be more the hero. And he'll be arrested yeah. for something. Yeah. I busted in there, motherfucker. Yeah. Right. I put my guns out. I sensed something. I right. sensed something. Because I seen he wasn't right, this guy. Yeah. But he they just lied from me. interview to interview. I'm like fucking, fucking super fly. <laughs> this guy is my the neighbor, best. Anthony. And I say, Anthony, I, that's I, me and Anthony talked about this last yeah. year. But he yeah, told me exactly. I was paranoid because I just moved on the street uh-huh. and I told Wait. him something. What oh my god, now he's saying he knew something was up next door. Oh, oh this guy's just fucking oh, gonna no. build it into I love him. He's gonna be a superhero by oh, Friday. Oh man, I said I put on my cape. My spidey yeah. senses. And then I walked down the street and I told my, my neighbor, Anthony, and I said, Anthony, I have, uh, me and Anthony talked about this last year. But he told me I was paranoid because I just moved on the street uh-huh. and I told him something wrong with that house. He told me just just leave it alone. Pause. Chuck. Pause. He what the never. fuck? He didn't Can say we, any of this. We got to put the interviews together. In the one interview, did you know who it was? Nah. No. Yeah, I knew who it was. <laughs> yeah. And then and you, I would look at him. You wouldn't think anything of it. Why are no we having guy. barbecue with him? <laughs> having barbecue. He was tinkering with his car. You never know. He was just a normal guy. I said I knew something was up yeah. last year. There was a fire. Oh, this guy's oh, the there's God. A fire. I got a feeling. 
Then he rules. All right, we got those two. We got to put back to back. Yes. Yeah. Those two. Did you, have, did you know the person that lived there? Yeah, we all know him. He a good Don't say dude. his name. No. no he's a good dude. You know, you know him. It, yeah. But you thought he lived there by himself. Yes. <laughs> Yes, that's what I'm saying. To hear some noises come next door yeah, don't make yeah. no sense. Because I know you lived it by yourself. And police took him into custody. They, you know? they, they say they. This is what I heard. They they caught him at McDonald's. Because what I did was okay, gave him. Or Peggy Sinkin said the same I, I thing. gave them okay. the description of the car that he was in. Okay. And I guess they, he, he drives a blue Mazda Miata. He gave them. Okay. Right. I think our Peggy Sinkin just McDonald's. just confirmed that as well earlier. Yeah. Okay, Kevin, Bill, can you hear me? I gave him the description of the car. They never would have caught that nigga boy <laughs> with my ass, motherfucker. <laughs> Oh my God! This guy's gold. Is there any more interviews with him? Two so far. We should we should get him on the phone. If we oh, can. he is we great. Let's get Charles Ramsey on the phone. Uh, oh, he is gonna. Oh, he's gonna be all over the place with this. <sighs> yeah, changing his little stories. Yeah, uh, Eric in Michigan. He sounds like the husband of the. I don't got time for that. Yeah. Yeah, we've been saying that all morning. Yeah. Got bronchitis. Oh, oh, there's a fall. Oh, missing grandmother found dead? What the fuck happened to her? That guy is fucking crazy. <laughs> he tells Ramsey. Uh, I say, they say you paranoid. <laughs> I say, I knew that motherfucker went up to no good. <laughs> he is a liar. <laughs> what an amazing story, though. Yeah. Holy shit. I guess uh, the CNN crews are going to have to get out of Boston and get to Cleveland, huh? Yeah. Time to move on. Time to move on and get to Cleveland. Mm -hmm. There's some shit going down. Amanda Berry. Amanda Berry. Yeah, she looks all right. Mm. Maybe after, you know, they give her a makeover or something right. before she goes on the talk show circuit. You know that Clinton tried to um, get Zeppelin to reunite for a Sandy benefit? Really? And they said, hell no. They said, go fuck yourself? Well, Pretty much. Apparently it's kind of hard to do. I think, I it's think. You're being dead. You've been on this one, though. I, I, Robert Plant just can't hit those notes anymore. No, nah, Robert Plant, uh, he, he, don't, he doesn't want to be embarrassed out there. Yeah, everyone wants to hear, you know, Zeppelin the way you hear it on the record. Right. And he just can't do it. There's How so many? many great Zeppelin cover bands out there. You were assuming a president, ex president, goes to you, though. Hey. You'd almost would have to say, all right, fuck. He yeah. asked us. Yeah. But they said, hell no. no. We will not reunite. Now you get the fuck out of here. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's over. Zeppelin's done. Please. I still could have done it for the. Her daughter that appears to have been created by a sexual assault or a rape, and this man Charles Ramsey walking by didn't Adam turn Walsh? his head and say, "I don't want to get involved." He jumps yeah, up on the like porch, him. he breaks right, down right. the door, and gets her out. Gets her to nine one one. There's two heroes, and then and these women are alive because of Charles Ramsey. It's Giant. fantastic. Right. John, I remember with the do guards. The, in retrospect, there were people who said there were girls kept in the backyard. Uh, and the neighbors, no one ever stepped forward. The cops checked it out, but they weren't able to find anything. Meanwhile, there were girls inside there kept for years. What are your early indications and investigations showing? Were there people who were suspicious at all about this house? Well, let, let's talk about J.C. Dugard for a minute. He, you know, neighbors made complaints, and parole and probation officers and sheriffs went into that house. Amazing how they missed and Philip it. Garrido, who was a level three sex offender who had been convicted of kidnapping a girl and beating her severely and keeping her in a storage unit, that he was actually arrested and went to jail for a month for vi parole violation while his crazy mother, I mean, sorry, his crazy wife, wife, yeah. wife kept the, uh, JC in the backyard. Now, if I was the cop oh, that came God. to arrest him for violation, I would have searched the whole house, went out in the backyard, etc. So I think law enforcement can learn something from this to take these calls very, very serious. God, can you imagine? They were that close uh, and they didn't find it? That's the Dugard case yeah. where they were living in the backyard in that structure yeah. or whatever. And he had a parole violation, so they sent him to jail. And the fucking wife watched the captive. <clears throat> Didn't set her free or nothing. And the fact that he kidnapped a girl and beat her and then was on parole. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's and, just... And they were so coming. close to finding what was going on at, in that residence, but they didn't check the whole place. It's ridiculous. From top to bottom. Wow. 
wow, could you imagine and being those people knowing that the the cops are right outside and you're just uh, just waiting, going, all right, it's a matter of time they're going to get to where I'm at, and they never do. Yeah. Fuck. Jeez. Oh, there's Charles Ramsey. Oh, where are the tissues? <laughs> I need tissues. We, we, we're supposed to have tissues every day in here. Every day, just like our microphones that we speak into, we should have tissues that we blow our nose into. I got some Starbucks every napkins. Day. No, we just, we, didn't we say this recently again? Yes, no. yes. And, and then we wound Eric, up sounding like whiny assholes because divas. we're fucking asking no, for tissues. Tissue divas. Eric. But when you're broadcasting, you need a clear, clear nasal passages. Or else it's not sounding like this. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Who sets up the studio? Who what? sets up the studio? Uh, I don't know. The interns and Eric. So how come we ask for the just tissues to blow your nose? I don't yeah. know. It's very important when you're broadcasting. Iraq. How come there's no tissues in here? Comment. There usually are. There's I know. Well, it's like a today? silver box that's always put near Anthony. There's well, never no, any tissues in, the, in oh, here. Boy. I've heard this conversation ten times. There's uh, never tissues. The fuck? <laughs> Look at these tissues. Dude. Can you go get a... Where, where <laughs> are the fucking what, tissues? What, fucking bo- there's fucking three <laughs> tissues in three here. Three dusty puffs. Three dusty <laughs> puffs of tissue. When I blow <laughs> my nose, there's a lot of snot. And it's obvious that they put the tissues back in the box. <laughs> but it's like this was one of those things that was discussed like hey can we have this yeah they need to buy tissues keep them mm. and you know make sure a a fresh box yeah. of tissues, tissues are in here on a daily basis I'll take a Starbucks you think the sponsors want to yeah. hear their reads done in nasally fashion I, have I some, don't uh, think so I have some Charles Ramsey comparisons. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. Let's oh, do cool. Charles Ramsey comparison. Also, we're trying to call the guy, but his voicemail box is full. I bet. Yeah, I would yeah. assume. But we got his actual number. That's kind yes. of cool. Yeah. yeah. Ah. All right. So first, we're going to listen to his first interview that we yeah. listened to this morning. Mm-hmm. Just uh, a part of it. Yeah, just just okay. a part of it. And then we're going to listen to uh, to the interview that we just played on Fox. Okay. okay. Let's see if there's any... Uh, Discrepancies. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's my idea. Of course. And this is Jim Norton's idea. <laughs> this is Jim Norton's idea. Right. He comes out with a little girl and she says, Call 911. My name was Amanda Berry. Now, did you know who that was when, you, when she said that? When she told me it didn't register until I got the call in 911. And now I'm like, I'm calling the 911 for Amanda Berry. I thought this girl was dead. Okay. Uh-huh. And then he said this on Fox. So I'm thinking, yeah, whatever. So I helped her get out the house. I ain't thinking that you really, that girl that's missing. You've you, you been gone for so long. You know, you think you're lying. And she called the police, and they came, and they took a fingerprint sample of her, a blood sample, and it came back. It was her. So, first time. Wait, they cut the part off there. <coughs> no. First time, he says, I didn't think about it until I called 911. Second time, he says, when I'm getting her out of the house, I'm thinking, no, you're not this person. Oh, yeah, right, yeah, right. But doesn't really the guy say, does. did you recognize the name in the second interview? Yeah, yeah, that's true. And then she said it was two more pe- uh, girls up in the house. Oh, now, bitches. I don't know this. I just helped her move out. You're correct. It was Gina DeJesus was the yeah, other yeah. And then a woman named Michelle Knight. <laughs> had, so you've been living next door to that house? Had you known there were any people? <laughs> no, because I pulled this heroic <laughs> stuff last Thank year. Okay. <laughs> my goodness. Yeah, there's a part of that interview where you asked him, you did you recognize the name? Oh, you, you, you left off the last so part of the second interview. You realized who it was, though. When, once she said her name, you recognized the name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, no doubt. All right, now. Okay. Uh, we're going to see if he had any suspicions oh. that something was, was a right. off in this oh, other house. Okay. First interview. Every day. I mean, every day. Hey, how long have you lived here? I've been here a year. Okay. You still come up from? Right. I barbecue with, with this dude. We eat ribs and, and whatnot and listen to salsa music. You see where I'm coming from? Yeah. And you had no indication that there was not anything egg, going on? bro, not a clue that that girl w- was in that house or anything. Okay, and then he said this on Fox. Street, and I told my, my neighbor, Anthony, and I said, Anthony, I had, uh, me and Anthony talked about this last year, but he told me I was paranoid because I just moved on the street, uh-huh. and I told him something wrong with that house. <laughs> ah, this motherfucker. <laughs> Charles Ramsey motherfucker. would make a horrible witness. <laughs> yeah. I told him, yeah, there's something wrong with this house. 5.52 oh, p.m. 34. Oh, Eric wow. says, I haven't listened to this. He yeah. just sent it to me. Eric says that this is Charles Ramsey's 911 call. Really? Oh. Yeah. He okay. called 911 as well. So. All right. Four seconds. May 62013. Cleveland 911 Police Ambulance to Fire. 
Yeah, hey, bro, I'm at 2207 Seymour, West 25th. Hey, check this out. I just came from McDonald's, right? So I'm on my porch eating my little food, right? This broad is trying to break out the fucking house next door to me. So there's a bunch of people on the street right now and shit. So we like, well, what's wrong with you? What's the problem? She like, this motherfucker that kidnapped me and my daughter, and we've been in this bitch. She said her name is Linda Berry or some shit. I don't know who the fuck that is. I just moved over here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and also, this is, this is the real Charles Ramsey. Now we're He's not cleaning it up Charles for the white man. Now we're hearing the real Charles Ramsey. <laughs> this Linda Berry, I don't know who the fuck I that is. I don't know who the fuck, fuck this that. is. Not a clue. I also like how we've had two interviews with him and a 911 phone call, and he has to tell everyone that he just came from McDonald's. I just, I just he loves an endorsement McDonald's. Deal. Yeah. What's an endorsement deal? Go back a little bit. Oh, oh and the, is this so is how he really talks. Why we thought you were dead. All oh, the stories yeah. changed. Oh, and then it Charles. turns into, yeah, I knew who that was. Now it's like, I don't know who the fuck I don't fuck know who that motherfucker is. is. Yeah. See, we're kind of, this is like Pulp Fiction. Like We're getting all the pieces. Sure. Yes, yes. yes. So this yeah. is before any interview. Of yes. course. <laughs> this is as raw as it gets. Well, what's wrong with you? What's the problem? She like, this motherfucker that kidnapped me and my daughter, and we've been in this bitch. She said her name was Linda Berry or some shit. I don't know who the fuck that is. I just moved over here, bro. Uh, sir, 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 you know what I mean? sir, you have to calm down and slow down. Is she still in the street? Uh, uh, Seymour Avenue. And right? this, is she still in the street, or where did she go? Yeah, I'm looking at her. She right now. She calling y'all. She on another phone. Is she black, white, or Hispanic? Uh, she white, but the baby look Hispanic. Okay, what is she wearing? <laughs> uh oh. Uh, white tank top, light blue uh sweatpants. Sound like 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 a white beater. Do you know the address next door that she said she was in? Yeah, 2207. I'm looking at it. Okay, I thought that was your address. So that that house. No, no, I'm smarter than that, bro. I'm telling you what a crime was. Okay, not in the house, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm smarter than that, bro. I'm, I'm telling you in a crime, crime not my house. <laughs> There's oh, absolutely shit. something that they're going to catch Oh, him. this oh, guy course. is in of for course. a treat. This guy is great. Oh, they are going to just run his name and oh, be like, oh, I feel look, bad at, for look at what Ramsey. we got. Look what we got here. Oh, he sounds like right. Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. 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 Motherfucker. That's the one that says bad okay, motherfucker. I thought that was your address, so that, that house. No, no, I'm smarter than that, bro. I'm telling you what a crime was. Okay, okay, no, sir, we can't talk at the same time. Do you want to leave your name and number? Or your name Charles and number? Ramsey, R-A-M-S-E-Y. What's the phone number? Uh, 216. Oh, okay. I don't know if it's going to Do they bleep it out? Maybe. Who gives a shit at this point? We, oh, you want me to just turn this off first? Uh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Just to be safe, then we'll go back. Yeah. Trubbies. Okay. Yeah, they didn't bleep it out. Oh, know. they didn't bleep it out? No, I don't want to bleep it out. Okay, so he gives his phone number, and then we go back. People, she said it did this. Do you know if they're still in the house? I don't have a fucking clue, bro. I just said I came from McDonald's. Can you, can you ask her if she needs an ambulance? You need an ambulance? Or what? Bambalance? She needs everything. She's a, she in a uh, panic, bro. I guess she's been kidnapped, so, you know, put yourself in her shoes. <laughs> I, we'll send the police out. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's classic. Oh, is he great? Yeah. 2003. Two of them were taken. 2003 and one in 2004. That's Elizabeth Smart now. She looks great. Wow. Yeah, she looks all right. Man. Kidnap and treat She's her well. lovely. Mm -hmm. She is a. Oh, and there's a girl named Gina. They're looking for it too. Oh yeah. They're gonna find a dead body in that house. Or in the yard or something. Someone who didn't cooperate like these girls did. Oh, they're showing it from back then, 2004. Oh, this uh, is where 2000, it's... 2007. They were still six years away from rescue. 2009. Oh, All of our K-Rock time. Oh, my God. They got kidnapped God. Well, we, uh, before who was, we were back on XM. Who was in a worse position? Them <laughs> or us at K-Rock? <laughs> no, they got kidnapped we were still before, off the air. We, before we came back on the air. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 2003, 2004, right? Oh, God, right? Yep. We're gonna, maybe they listen to us. Maybe. They're being ugh, horrible. Maybe. And Charles yeah. Ramsey rules. Charles Ramsey is in for the biggest fucking, I feel the biggest spike in, in hero popularity oh, yeah. and fucking. It never works out in the end. He's going to be like that Kraft macaroni and cheese guy. <laughs> Like, oh, look, he's just a guy. He's down on his luck, and then it's like, this is a Louis Vuitton. I see a year of jail in his future for some past crime. Oh, yeah. That he's been fucking dodging for years just because he's the 
comes forward as the hero. He must have had such a hard time with the press not fucking cursing. Because mm -hmm. that's, that's the real one. Oh, yeah. That's the one we just heard is the real dude. This motherfucker. Yeah, this motherfucker. That's, I don't know who the fuck that is. We're all in search of more Charles Ramsey audio. Mm -hmm. There's got to be more out there. He's not picking up the phone. I know. No, just keep calling. Text him. Yeah, keep calling. Yeah, text him. Hit him on the hip. <laughs> no? <laughs> anyway. Uh, uh, mm. <laughs> I'm in chains. I'm in chains. I need another song to kind of get that one out of my head. Wait, yeah. we got to. Oh, no. <laughs> You gotta help me. I'm Hold on, we got head. a press conference going oh, yeah. on, though. Don't. Um, Amanda's the key to that. So the uh, guy like said, that uh, abducted so these three Amanda girls in Cleveland, last he last has other houses. Fucking Amanda Love. The, the latest on this, he has other houses that they want to check out immediately. And, uh, yeah. really other properties this guy is, Other properties this guy owns. Uh, yeah. A deep, deep line of questioning. Um, our concern... Our first and foremost concern last night was their physical and, and mental well-being. So that no, that, that is going to come out, but as of today, I couldn't tell you. Hey, I couldn't no, tell you. Hey, we're got we, we're we're talking to the skill right now. You bet your ass we are. It's Chicago light, the Cleveland yeah. accent. Hey, look. No. No, no. Give us the information we want to get, and I'll get you some of that deep dish pizza. Imagine they see iPhones for the first time and all this weird technology now, 10 years later. Ah, this is going to be a waste. If anything pops on the press conference, let us know. I think we should play the Charles Ramsey 911 call again, because it's so damn raw, and no one's really playing it. We've taken Mr. Ramsey into custody. <laughs> right. <laughs> Apparently there were some uh, wants and warrants out on him. <laughs> He'll be residing at uh, county for a little while, not giving any interviews. Poor guy. You know yeah. they're going to get him for something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when he heard that police siren and then turned his head so quickly, that's that's a man that's been... <laughs> <laughs> He's been rousted a few times. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But in case you missed it earlier, uh, that Charles Ramsey guy that everyone's talking about, the black yeah. guy that uh, was basically the hero yesterday up there in Cleveland. Oh, yeah. He did his own 911 call, and um, and here it is once again for the fine people out there. 5.52 p.m. 34 seconds, May 62013. Cleveland 911 police ambulance to fire. Yeah, hey, bro, I'm at 2207 Seymour, West 25th. Hey, check this out. I just came from McDonald's, right? So I'm on my board cheating my little food, right? This broad is trying to break out the fucking house next door to me. So there's a bunch of people on the street right now and shit. So we like, well, what's wrong with you? What's the problem? She like, this motherfucker that kidnapped me and my daughter, and we've been in this bitch. She said her name is Linda Berry or some shit. I don't know who the fuck that is. I just moved over here, bro. Uh, sir, 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 you know sir, what I mean? sir, you have to calm down and slow down. Is she still in the street? Uh, uh, Seymour, Avenue, is, right? this, is she still in the street or where did she go? Yeah, I'm looking at her. She right now. She calling y'all. She on another phone. Is she black, white, or Hispanic? Uh, she, she white, but the baby look Hispanic. Okay, what is she wearing? Look Hispanic. Uh, white tank top, light blue, uh, sweatpants. Uh, like, like, like a white beater. Do you know the address next door that she said she was in? Yeah, 2207. I'm looking at it. Okay, I thought that was your address. So that, that house... No, I'm smarter than that, bro. I'm telling you what a crime was. Okay, I'm look, house. sir, we can't talk at the same time. Do you want to leave your name and number? Or your name Charles and number? Ramsey, R-A-M-S-E-Y. Oh. What's the phone number? Uh, so here's the phone number, blah, 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 blah. 92. Are the people she said that did this, do you know if they're still in the house? I don't have a fucking clue, bro. I just got to come to McDonald's. Can you... Can you ask her if she needs an ambulance? She needs an ambulance? Ask her. She needs everything. She's a machine in uh, panic, bro. I guess she's been kidnapped, so, you know, put yourself in her shoe. Oh, send an ambulance. I, we'll send a Concrete police truck. truck. Thank you. There you go. Yep. Yeah. That's, I love uh, the part. She need everything. Of she course need everything. She, of course she need send everything. Send police, send a fire, send a uh, bambalance. Maybe go to McDonald's on the way. McDonald's. I was eating uh, over at Big Kahuna Burger. That's that Hawaiian <laughs> joint. 
<laughs> I was I was eating it, and I'm thinking that's a tasty burger. I was joining, uh, enjoying my McDonald's. Yeah. So I asked the guy next to me, uh, Brett, if he could, uh, I could uh, have some of his tasty beverage to wash this down. With. <laughs> wash it down. <laughs> Say help me one more time. Yeah. <laughs> Charles Ramsey rules. He sounds uh, like Sammy Jackson, right, guys? Holy fuck.